Welcome to this session on creating details. So in this exercise, we're going to use a detail callout to create a wall section from our section drawing. So I'm going to start by creating a shape, which I will use as the, the bubble around the detail. So I'll just use the Place Smart Line tool here. Because it has an option here to round the vertexes which we like to see on our callouts. And I'll give it a radius to a half inch. Now I'm gonna place the shape and then we can always adjust it or move it around to where we want it on our sheet. I'm going to come up about seven inches here and see how I'm getting that rounded corner. And then over an inch and a half, and then kind of back down to my start point. And then when I connect this, it'll round that last vertex. So now I've got the shape and I could just use my move command to place it where I want it on my sheet or on my drawing here. So that should work. We get that wall section in there. So once I have that shape, I'm going to use this detail callout to create the wall section. So I'll select that. We're going to select a drawing seed, and I'm going to use this example arc wall section 2D detail. Now the fact that it's 2D, you can see some of these are 3D, means that the section I'm the wall section I'm creating is really an enlarged blow up of this drawing, this section drawing. So if I adjust the section, it's actually going to adjust this wall section as well. Whereas a 3D detail view creates a, a separate dynamic view in our master model. And that means it's, it's controlled independently of the section or the drawing from which it's created. So we'll go ahead and select that wall section 2D. Um, there are options to to draw the the you know this shape here with the tool, but I'm going to select an existing boundary since we went ahead and set up our shape. And so I just select the boundary and then I can pull the call out out and place it. A reset places it and opens the create drawing dialog. So I'm going to name this one detail wall section. And then we're going to create a drawing model and we'll, we'll create a new file for that. So we're putting these detailed wall sections under A4. So I'll call that A4 under bar detail wall section. I'm going to set the annotation scale to a half inch to a foot in this case. And then I'm just going to turn off this create sheet model. So we're not creating a sheet model. We're not even going to place this on a sheet because we're going to drag and drop it back onto the sheet after we get the drawing created. So I'm just going to select OK. So notice it hasn't numbered this yet because it doesn't, it's not placed on a sheet yet. But if we go back to our links tab in the Explorer, and I'm just going to expand all drawings here and we'll see this detail wall section drawing listed. So this, this view just shows you all the drawings and not organized by type. And I can basically drag and drop this onto my sheet. So again, it's just a drag and drop. We're gonna use recommended. So I'll just select OK, and then I can see the range of that section and place it where I want it on my sheet. And then, of course, we can always move a drawing around on a sheet if I 
simply write press and select move reference. I could, for instance, grab it and move it around, make sure I've got enough room on my sheet. In fact, on my border file, I have kind of a non-plot grid to help me align things. And I could turn that on or off. I could also move my drawing title. That rectangle again is that drawing boundary, so I may want to adjust that as well, just to designate the area that belongs to the wall section. Now remember, as I said, I'm, I'm clipping this drawings. That's why I, I see a little bit of my floor elevations in this particular drawing and the dimensions as well, even though they do get rescaled based on the annotation scale of the drawing. Now I could adjust my shape there in order to, for instance, clip out some of that. And then you can see I don't see them and I could go in and add my own dimensions by opening the drawing up. So also from the drawing title, again, if I hover over it, little mini toolbar, I can open the drawing model right from there. So let's just go take a look at that quickly. So again, we may want to add some of our own annotations. I'll just add a few more dimensions here. And then we'll just navigate back to our section sheet. And we'll see those new annotations. And of course, we'd add notes and other information as well. Now, as I said, the way this particular section is set up, it's linked to that section. So if we were to modify where this section was cut, it would also modify where our wall sections cut. So let's just try that. We'll go back and open up our floor plan sheet where we put the call out. So I'm going to select the section callout, and I'm going to use that center arrow, the green one, that controls the cut plane, and let's just move it down where we would be, for instance, cutting through one of our windows, which means it'll change that section because we'll be cutting through the window, but also we'll be looking at our core in elevation rather than cutting through it. So simply by moving the call out on our plan, it's going to change our drawings. So let's just go right back to the sheet. So it's going to open and then it's going to update the drawing cache.
So we can see that now that section is cut through our windows and that's true for the wall section as well. Okay, in the next session, we're gonna move on to doing some schedules and we'll create a room finish schedule and place that on a sheet. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.